What's up, family? Welcome back. Coming at you again today from my home gym, The Rack, here in Robertsdale, Alabama. Um, wanted to talk to you today about meal prep on the go. Uh, a question I get from you know a lot of people I know that are just getting started or clients of mine have been you know, related to uh, taking your meal prep with you. you know, what if I don't have a microwave? What if... Uh, you know, I don't have a way to, to, to prep my meals throughout the day. You know, how do I how do I eat meals throughout the day? You know, how do I make it happen? And you know, there's a lot of solutions to this. So if you don't want to prep your meals all before you leave the house, but you have access to you know, like say a microwave, um, you can always use the minute rice. You know, these are little cups that are pre-made. You can pop them in the microwave. They're about 200 calories each. Easy to put your minute rice in there. Just bring your, your chicken, fish, ground beef, whatever it is, along with you and your vegetables that are already cooked. Uh, just bring those along with you. Weigh them out. Put your sauces on. Make your fresh rice. Boom. Put it all together. Um, if you don't have access to a microwave, the easiest way that I found is that this is, you know, what I do is cook the meal at the house in before you leave. Cook all the meals. Then you can do one of two things. You can either you can either buy one of those heated lunch boxes, both plugs into the car, plugs in at work. So you heat up the meal, you put them in the food prep containers, and then you put them in this little, you know, warmable, keeps it hot lunch box. And you can put your two or three meals in there put the lid on it. It's kind of like a lunchbox, but instead of keeping things cool, it keeps things hot. So perfect way um, to keep your meals warm at temperature, have a fresh hot, have a hot meal. I'm not sure if you call it fresh anymore, but have a hot meal when it's time. Um, you know, way number two is uh, I travel sometimes when I do, when I fly. I'm never gonna like rely on airport food or what I can find or whatever. I'm gonna bring my meals with me. So. I have bought some containers off of Amazon that are, they look like the old school coffee containers, but they're a little bit wider. Have a, you know, screw on lid on them. Put the food in there, you know, heat the food up, put the food in there, stays hot for eight hours. I'm talking about, I've flown all the way from Florida to Denver and taking the lid off and steam still roll out of these things. And you know, they're like, whatever they are, 20, 25 bucks each. I got four of these containers, they're big metal thick. When you're talking about traveling on a plane, TSA stays as long as it isn't liquid. If it's just, you know, if it's solid food, they'll let you through. I'm telling you, every single time they stop me because they're metal and it, they can't see through it, they open it up, they see it's food, they let me go. I've, I've, I have traveled this way 15, 20 times, both to where I was going and on the way back. Had all my meals, been prepared. Not only that, I carry more meals than I need in case the layovers and everything kind of carry over in case I miss my flight. You know, I might only need two meals, but I end up carrying four just in case. Plus, then when I get to my destination, I'm not like immediately scrounging to put together a meal. Like, I'd be riding back toward, you know, the wherever I'm staying, if someone else is driving, I can eat my meal. I already am prepared. Um, also, you know, there's like, do you prepare for the whole week? Do you prepare for the whole day? That's just however you're able to work it. I have literally done it every way under the sun. I've done it where on Sundays I cook everything and I have 40 meals laid out on the counter and put them all in the fridge and just grab one day at a time, or grab a meal at a time, microwave them up, heat them up, whatever. Currently what I do is um, I like the texture of things not being in the microwave so I have my, my proteins already cooked and um, I'll just steam my rice with the vegetables in the vegetable steaming basket, put all my, you know, put it all together, and then I'll heat up the protein, throw all the rice and the, the vegetable in there, throw some sauce in there, into the skillet is what I'm saying, in there, and uh, just saute it slowly up to temperature, pour it off in the, the container, put it in a heated lunchbox, or if I don't have a place to plug it in, I'll literally put these in the, the containers, wrap them in a bath towel and put that inside of a plastic bag and that acts as a thermal um, insulator, keeps them warm. 
not piping hot, but keeps them warm. And it's simple, and it's something we already got at home. I didn't have to buy anything, any of that. Now, I've used the heated lunch boxes, I've used the thermoses. I've used this because of the simplicity of it. Just put in my meal prep containers, wrap it in a towel, put that in a plastic bag. Five or six hours while I'm at work is not a problem. What about when you're going out to eat? You know, I've been in restaurants at times that would not allow in outside food. When that happens, you know, I just leave it out in the car. I run out just like anybody else would. If it was going to take a smoke real quick, I'll run out the car. If I'm there for three hours, I might run out the car and eat real quick, come back in, hang out with everybody. Tip the waiter from my seat, you know? I'm in the service industry and I believe every seat's worth what it's worth. So even though I might just be drinking a, a Diet Coke, I'm gonna slide a, you know, 15, 20 bucks for the waiter just for the seat. But like, it doesn't mean that I can never go out. It doesn't mean that I can't live a life. It doesn't mean that I can't be social. It just means that my goals are more important than me having to eat exactly what everybody else is eating. You know, I've heard people uh, getting upset. Oh, why you gotta eat your meal prep? Why can't you eat what we're eating? It's like, if you're eating the steak and I'm eating the chicken, you're not upset. But if you're eating the steak that came from the restaurant and I'm eating the chicken that's my meal prep, that's a problem. Why is that? That's their problem, not mine. You know, I've got my goals that I'm trying to reach and I'm willing to do whatever it takes. So, meal planning on the go, meal prep on the go. Hopefully, someone out there has gotten a solution out of this, something you might not have thought of. Because I've been doing this for, you know, five, six years now of planning, prepping, carrying meals, doing things on the go. And these are some of the solutions I've came up with. Do you have something else you need? Leave a comment, you know, ask your question. Love you guys, see you soon.